This is not fake. This is as real as it gets. Dr. Jacob Keeperman is mustering all his mental and physical strength as another wave of COVID-19 patients show up in the intensive care unit at his hospital. Everyone here has been going nonstop for months. What was your worst day? So my worst day this pandemic was actually the day I posted the tweet thanking my teammates. I had just finished a seven day stretch in the intensive care unit. There had been patient after patient after patient who was not surviving this illness. The tweet he sent was a simple selfie showing off their new COVID-19 wing. That wing set up in the hospital parking garage. That fact seemed to set President Trump off, who retweeted a tweet calling it fake and a scam. That unleashed the Twitter trolls. I was sad and devastated and I was angry. Devastated and angry because all of the hard work being done by his colleagues inside this parking garage hospital every single day, from the food staff to the CEO. This is not fake. This is as real as it gets. The idea was conceived and executed months ago, but during this COVID surge, patients are now parked in the spaces instead of cars. The number of coronavirus cases in Washoe County, Nevada, that this hospital services has exploded. This week, there are actually 10 times the number of COVID-19 cases than there were just a couple of months ago. So the hospital had to do whatever it takes to find more bed space. And so here we are on floor G of the parking garage. It was scary. You know, we don't expect to go to work and be working out of a parking garage. We've made it a hospital, so we don't even consider it a garage anymore. Did you ever think that in America they would have to treat people in a parking lot? I apologize for what I'm going to say. When uh, they start building this, I laugh. Making a dusty, dirty parking garage into a sanitary space seemed laughable, but then she ended up hospitalized here. People don't realize how bad this is. The pain that you feel, <clears throat> they're not being able to breathe. That's, that's one of the worst things that I ever get to experience in my life. <coughs> A few days later, her husband of 35 years was also hospitalized with COVID. I thought you know she's gonna die. After spending days in isolation with no visitation, they found each other again, parked just four beds apart in the parking garage. He coughs at nighttime, I can hear him. And if I yell, he can hear me. He knows that I'm still alive. 